Okay, so, we talk about uh, another algebraic structure ring. So, so far we have discussed uh, groove and we have discussed several properties of the groups. So, it was having only one composition. So, we are dealing with we are uh, this group is under uh, group is algebraic structure under the composition star. I mean uh, there was only one composition. Now, suppose we have two compositions two binary compositions say we have say we have a set R. This is a general set. This is ring, so we, we denote this set by R. This is not necessarily a set of uh, real number. Uh, that set. This is any set R, any non-empty set R, and we have two operators star and say another operator say rho. Uh, for simplicity, we take this R. One operator in the additive sense and another operator in the multiplicative sense for simplicity. But if you like general notation, we can very well use the star and another this uh, small uh, o. Okay. But anyway, uh, we want to make our life simple, so we just take this uh, operator as plus and dot additive sense, multiplicative sense. But these are not the real number addition or complex number addition, these are any two binary composition. We take any two binary composition and for simplicity we are taking this to be uh, additive sense and this another composition we are representing to be in multiplicative sense. So, star uh, plus and dot. Okay, so, now suppose we have we have a non empty set R which is non empty let R be a non empty set. any non empty set okay and suppose we have two operators star a uh, plus binary composition and dot okay if it is closer then it will be in r but if it is not closer then it will it need not be in r so we have two binary composition plus and these are any two binary composition are two binary composition or binary mapping. Okay. This is additive sense, this is multiplicative sense, but these are any operator, any general operator, binary operator. Okay. Now, when we say this algebraic structure, this set along with these two operator will form a ring we call this will form a ring is said to be a, a ring if it is satisfying certain property if it is satisfying certain property so what are those properties so the first property is if if it is satisfying certain property so First of all, this R and this operator, first operator, this additive sense operator should be an abelian group, is a commutative group, abelian group. Okay. And the second one is the another with the another composition, the second composition, this dot. I mean we are taking this in multiplicative sense for the simplicity. This should be a semi group, semi group and we have uh, we have two, di two distributed property which is related which is dealing with both the operator. So, this is R 3 rule 3. So, this is uh, a the uh, a plus b dot c is equal to a dot c plus p dot c and this is true for all a b c belongs to the set r. Okay, this is called uh, left this is called right distributed law and the left distributed law is a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a dot c and this is also true for all a b c. 
Now, if this property is satisfied, then we call this algebraic structure the set R along with this two operator will form a group, I sorry form a ring, this algebraic structure is called a ring. So, this is this is the left distributed distributed law distributive property or law sorry this is right because this is the right side operation and this is left left distributed law ok. Now, if this is satisfying by a set R along with this two operator then it is called a ring this algebraic structure algebraic structure is called a ring so if it is satisfying these properties ok. So, first of all this this set R has to be abelian group under this operator plus this set R has to be a semi group under this operator dot and this two uh, distributed law must satisfy ok. So, so, now this is also having some properties, this is abelian group means it must follow 5 properties if you recall every group, every group has a 4 property closer, associativity, uh, existence for uh, identity and existence for inverse of each element. And along with the for abelian group commutative group we need to have a star must be that plus must be commutative. And the semi group means it has two properties closer and associativity that will give us a semi group. So, if you write the details of these properties, so basically this will give us how many properties 8, let us just write those. So, so this is a set R and we have two operator plus and this. Now, these are the properties must satisfy. So, A plus B must belongs to R for all A B belongs to R. This is the closer property of the plus first operator. Second is A plus B plus C must be A plus B plus C. This is true for all A B C belongs to R. This is the associativity property of this plus, then existence for identity. So, A plus there must be identity element we denote this as 0, because we are dealing with additive sense. So, 0 is the representative of the additive identity, it is nothing to do with real number 0, this is just a representation. If you feel we can use this E plus, this is the identity element for plus. But anyway for simplicity we denote this by this symbol 0, 0 is just a symbol it is nothing to do with the real number 0 or complex number 0. It is just to represent since we have taking our operator is additive sense. So, 0 is just a representation of the identity element in the additive sense 0 plus a is equal to a this is for all a belongs to r this is the existence for additive identity. And then the inverse, every element must have a inverse, additive inverse, additive sense. So, given a given an element, given a an element from A, there must exist a B such that uh, such that a plus b is equal to b plus a is equal to 0. Okay. So, a plus b, so a plus b we can write it here such that a plus b is equal to b plus a is equal to 0. So, this is in uh, additive. So, b is the additive inverse of a, usually we denote b by this symbol because this is in additive sense. So, every element should have inverse. So, this this properties is telling us R is a group along with this 
R is a group. Now, we, we want this to be an abelian group. So, we must have a commutative property. So, A plus B must be equal to B plus A. This is true for all A B. Now, up to this is telling us this R is a abelian group, abelian or the commutative group. Okay, these five properties will give us R to be a uh, commutative group with the uh, composition plus. Now, we want semi group of the dot. So, this is property number 6. Now, we will talk about uh, properties with this operator. So, it must be close. So, that means A dot B must belongs to R for all A B. So, this is the closer property of dot and then 5, 6, 7. Then it must be associate associativity under this dot. So, that means A dot B dot C is equal to A dot B dot C and this must be true for all A B C. So, these two will give us a semi group is a semi group. Okay, these two properties will give us a semi group of R along with this second operator, second composition. And then we have the distributed law. So, this is 7, we have 8. So, left distributed law is basically A dot B plus C is equal to A dot B plus B dot C and this must true for all A B C. This is the left distributed law and the right distributed law is basically uh, A plus B dot C is same as A dot C plus B dot C. This is true for all A B C. Okay. So, these two are basically telling us the distributed law. This is dealing with both the operators. So, now if we uh, if we do B plus C, now B plus C, B is in R, C is in R and plus is closer. So, B plus C will be an element in R. Now, once this is an element in R, A is an element in R. Now, we can talk about A uh, operate with that other element and that is by closer property, this will be an element in R again. Now, we, are, we want this element to be same as the, uh, this, uh, this element, because this is again an element in R, because A is an element in R, B is an element in R, then A dot B is an element in R. Similarly, B dot C is an element in R and plus is closer again. So, A, this, this is an element in R. Now, we want this element should be same as this element. So, similar argument here. So, if it is all these properties is satisfying this nine properties, then we call this is a ring. This algebraic structure along with this two operator is called a ring. So, we have to remember these properties for uh, to be a ring. Okay. So, now we will take some example of a ring. So, before that we talk about commutative ring. Now, we know this plus is already commutative because this has to be a abelian group. Now, commutative ring means if along with this if dot is commutative if uh, if a dot b is equal to b dot a for all a b, then this implies dot is commutative, then this is called this r is called commutative ring. Okay, if all this 9 plus this, if it is commutative ring, then the left distributive law and right distributive law is same, then we have only one distributed law, because they are commutative. So, for commutative ring, we have only one distributive law. So, uh, so ring is up to this, up to this we, we have a ring. Now, along with this, if the dot is also commutative, then it is called uh, commutative ring. Okay. So, let me just and if it is commutative ring, 
then the left distributed law and right distributed law are same. So, you have only one distributed law. So, this is called commutative ring or so R is called a commutative ring commutative ring if first of all it has to be a ring that means all the nine properties must satisfy is a ring and it must be commutative in the sense of because it is already commutative with the sense of plus and then so and the star must be commutative dot. If this two satisfy then it is called a commutative ring and once it is a commutative ring then the distributed law left distributed law and right distributed law are same. Okay. So, now we define the ring with identity element. So, we define the we define the ring with identity element. Okay. So, R plus this. Now, suppose it is a ring. Now, we know that if it is a ring, then R plus is a group. So, that means there is an identity element under this plus that is 0. Now, ring with identity element means for ring we do not need to have this idea existence of the identity for this dot, but if the idea exists then we say this is a ring with identity element. So, so if there is a exist that it is under dot we denote this by 1 because 0 we are denoting by additive identity. So, this we must denote by uh, so, this is same as. So, there must if there exist a element which is multiplicative identity element such that A operate with this element is same as A and this is true for all A. Okay. So, since this is your multiplicative sense, so we denote this by that multiplicative identity sense. Otherwise, if you feel uh, we can use this as E 1 sorry E dot, dot is the operator and E is the identity element for this operator, but for the simplicity we can use this notation 1. So, if this is happening then we can say this is a ring with identity element. Then this is a ring with identity element. Ring with identity. If this is happening, then we call this is a ring with identity. If we have a uh, multiplicative identity also, we already have a additive identity because that uh, that is a group. Now, for multiplicative multiplicative operator, multiplicative operator, we do not need the identity element to be a ring, but if it is there, then we call this is a ring with identity element. Okay. So, this is these are all the definition. Now, if it is a again commutative, then we say this is a commutative ring with identity element. Now, we will take some example of ring. So, this is the definition of the ring. Okay, some of the examples. Now, if we take Z set of integer, then plus and dot. This is the real number addition, real number multiplication. This is a ring. Not only ring, this is a commutative ring 
and also identity element exist other than 0. Okay. Commutative ring other than 0 id element exist, because uh, commutative ring is ok, because uh, this is a abelian group no doubt we, we, we have seen this before abelian group and also under this dot this is a semi group and also this dot is commutative. So, this is a commutative ring, but what about the identity? Identity means 1. So, every element if we 1 is the identity element. So, a dot 1 is equal to 1 dot a is equal to a. Yeah. So, if we take 0 also yeah. So, this is the ok. So, for 0 also I was wondering about 0 if a is 0. So, 0 also it is fine, because 0 into z a 1 is equal to 1 into 0 is equal to 0. So, that is also ok. So, this is a commutative ring, uh, commutative ring with identity, this is a commutative ring with identity, existence of identity that is fine. Okay. Now, another example is the set of all rational number, set of all real number. So, q plus this, this is also a, a commutative ring with identity. Now, r, this is also a commutative ring with identity. Now, can you have a ring without identity, commutative ring without identity, like if you take 2 z, this is a commutative ring without identity, because identity element for dot is 1 real number 1 which is not here. This is a this is an example of commutative ring commutative ring without identity without identity element. Okay. Now, if you take the matrix say m to r 2 by 2 matrix so, this is basically a b c d where a b c d are coming from r. Now, this if you take this along with the matrix addition and matrix multiplication, then this is also a ring which is not commutative because star is not commutative for matrix multiplication like this dot. This is a ring with identity because 1 0 0 1 is the identity element which belongs to this set. This is a ring with identity, but not commutative. Okay. Now, we can take other example also. So, now we will define the polynomial ring. So, we define the polynomial ring. Okay, let R be a ring and x is a variable, x is an indeterminate and x is an indeterminate x is an indeterminate. Now, what do we mean by polynomial uh, polynomial in x? So, we mean that by a polynomial polynomial in x over r, we mean the expression like this. We mean an expression. expression like this a 0 plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square plus dot 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 a n x to the power n. Okay. This is we this is called a polynomial 
in x in the indeterminate x over r over r means this coefficients are coming from r this coefficients are coming from r so that's why it is called over r and this is called a polynomial of degree n and this is we denoted by some px small px and small px is this so this is a polynomial of degree n over r now we can have another polynomial qx rx so we represent the polynomial by this px qx rx in this way okay so now we define uh, this rx to be the set of all polynomial over r this rx to be set of all polynomials over the field over the ring r sorry over the ring r now we define few operation on this rx like equality addition and multiplication when we say two polynomials are equal when we say uh, so we define the three terms equality of two polynomial okay and so equality equality addition and multiplication equality means if you have two polynomial of, of same degree say uh, uh, px and qx say a0 say degree n and we have another polynomial qx b1 plus b0 plus b1x plus dot 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 bnx to the power n now when we say this two polynomial is same if and only if we say this two polynomial is equal this is the definition we are defining the equality of two polynomials if their corresponding coefficients are same if a is equal to b i for all i is equal to 1 to up to n so if a 0 is equal to b 0 a 1 equal to b 1 a 2 equal to b 2 like this so if the polynomial corresponding coefficients are same then we say the two polynomials are same now we define the addition of between two polynomials addition now suppose you have a polynomial p x of degree n a n to the power x to the power n and we have a polynomial q x of degree of degree say m now there are three cases n is less than m m is equal to n n is greater than m so case one if m is equal to n so then this p x q s p x plus q x is basically summation of a i b i x to the power i i is equal to 0 to n which is same ok. So, we are just adding the corresponding coefficient that is it. Now, if say case 2 if m is if say n is less than m. So, this is ending before than this. So, then p x plus q x is nothing but say a 0 plus b 0 plus a 1 plus b 1 x dot dot dot. So, n is less. So, that means a n plus b n x to the power n then after that we do not have term in a. So, then we have only b terms b n plus 1 x to the power n plus 1 dot 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 b m x to the power n. Okay. Similar way we can define when m equal to m is greater than m. So, idea is to just to add the corresponding coefficient. So, this is the addition. Now, similarly we can define multiplication of between two polynomials. Say if we have say two polynomial p x and q x this is the multiplication. Okay, so, we have two polynomial p x say a 0 plus a 1 x a n x to the power n and we have q x 
B0 plus B1x, Bn, X, Bm, x to the power n. Now, if you multiply means, say uh, we are just Px plus Qx, this is basically another polynomial of degree m plus 1. So, this is basically another polynomial, this is C1, C, uh, C0 plus C1 x up to C m plus n x to the power m plus n. So, we are just doing the product between them, where C i is basically uh, a 0 b j plus a 1 b j minus 1 dot 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 a j b 0. And now, we are taking the term uh, say a n plus 1, because there is term it is ending up to n. So, a n plus 1 to a m plus n to be 0. Okay. Similarly, b m plus 1 to b m plus n to be 0 also. We are taking these two terms. So, this is the way how we define the multiplication between two polynomials. And then we can show that and these are all operation basically this uh, operation under this plus and dot. So, in the ring we have two operator plus and dot. So, this this all uh, a, pl a plus means means the first operator of the ring. Okay. So, it is not real number plus it is in general if you have a ring with two operator plus and dot. So, these are all plus operation in the ring plus operation and these are all ring se second operation it is in multiplicative sense. Then we can show this R x set of all polynomial with the polynomial addition and this polynomial multiplication is a ring. Okay. This can be easily seen is a ring and this ring is called a polynomial ring. Thank you.